Okay, welcome back to another episode of Ham Radio on the Go. And today we're going to take another look at the Yesu FT4X. We're going to do a menu and feature review. Join us. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now, I already did a original unboxing and review of the Yesu FT4X introductory uh, HT by Yesu, meant to be a uh, main competitor to the Baofeng UV5R and, and uh, many uh, similar type radios. Uh, it's picked up the name, uh, the, uh, the uh, alias uh, Baofeng Killer. So we're going to take another look at the Baofeng Killer, the Yesu FT4X. This time we're going to get a little bit more uh, into the uh, features of this radio by doing a menu scan. Now a lot of people do band scans, and that's great. I love doing band scans of anything, HF, aviation, shortwave, you name it. But we're going to do a band scan of the menu. And uh, you learn a lot from a radio by just doing that. So we're going to take a look at what this radio has to offer. So far I've been using it and I enjoy it and there it is. We got it fired up on the two meter call frequency but basically today we're going to be going through the menus. So let's get started. There's the radio right there. Compact, solid, solid little HT. So far I'm enjoying it. Uh, those are your main buttons there. The, uh, the F button to get in there or the equal button as some people like to say. And there we go. Number one, APO sets the length of time until the transceiver turns off automatically. You can uh, adjust it. AR beep sets the beep options during arts operation. And that's a, a Yesu uh, proprietary uh, mode there. Three, uh, AR INT sets the polling interval during arts operations. I really don't operate arts, uh, but that those are usually your first couple. Four, BCLO turns the busy channel lockout function on or off. And that's number four. Number five is beep, sets the beep function on pressing the keypad or stopping the receive scanning. And then we're going to go up to number six is the bell selects the number of CTCSS, DCS, pager, and arts bell ringing repetitions that's one you're not going to use too often number seven cwid turns the cw identifier on off during arts operation be nice if you can put your call out in cw number eight cw right sets the cw id during arts operation all right now we're going to exit out of the arts section we're going number nine dc uh volt displays the voltage and that's a good one you can see uh your battery uh depletion number 10 dcs code sets the dcs code receive and transmit and the default is uh, 023 number 11 is uh, dt delay sets the dtmf code transmission delay time number 12 the dt set selects the dtmf auto dialer memory channel and edits the dtmf code maximum 16 digits Number 13, DT uh, speed sets the DTMF code transmission speed set to 50 milliseconds. You can adjust it to 100. Number 14, edge beep turns the band uh, edge uh, beeper on or off while searching the frequencies. Lamp selects the LCD key, keypad lamp mode. That's a good one. The next one, number 16 is uh, LED busy, turns the transmit busy indicator on or off while receiving signals. Good to save battery consumption. Number 17, LED transmit, turns the transmit busy indicator on and off while transmitting signals. The Baofangs have a lot of these similar modes to save battery consumption. 18 is lock, configures the lock mode setting. And number 19 is MT clear. It selects the function of the monitor T call switch. That's more for European models with the 1750 tone burst. Number 20, memory delete. Deletes the memory channel. That's a big one. Especially if you're like me, uh, always changing your code plug. Number 21, memory tag. Enters the memory channel tag. Also a big one. All right, we're moving along. Number 22 is a pager cdr specifies a personal code on receive that one i'm not too familiar with if you are comment below i'm going to say that a few times 
All right, now, moving up to number 24, which is the page CTD, Charlie Delta Tango, specifies a personal code on transmit. Again, I'm not familiar with that one. Number 25, private. Turns a priority, revert, feature on or off. Number 26 is a password. Turns the password feature on or off. A great feature to have. If you're leaving your HT unattended. All right, number 27. Password inputs the password. DWT four digit max. Okay, RF squelch. Number 28, adjust the RF squelch threshold level. That's a big one if you're in a noisy environment. Number 29, RP ARS turns the ARS function on or off. It's defaulted to on. Number 30, repeater frequency sets the repeater shift width. Number 31, Sets the repeater shift direction. That's a big one. If you're programming on the fly, like I do, on the go. I like to program my radios on the go, and that's why I like this radio. 32 is RX save. Selects the receive mode battery saver interval. 200 milliseconds it's uh, set to. Number 33, scan lamp. Turns the scan lamp on or off while paused. Again, these are great features when you want to uh, save consumption on your battery. 34, scan. It configures the scan stop mode settings. You have busy, hold, and time, and it's defaulted to busy. 35, skip. Turns the memory scan skip channel selection on or off. Great if you're in a noisy environment. 38, squelch type. Selects the tone encoder and or decoder mode. 37 is a step. Sets the frequency steps. And uh, it's defaulted to auto, and you have a lot of choices there, USA and Europe. 38, tone frequency, selects the tone frequency. Very important. 39 is one of my favorites. The uh, sets the timeout timer for those of us that like to speak a lot, including myself. I need to get into that function. Number 40, transmit power. Selects the transmit power. You got high, mid, and low. 5 watts, 2.5, and 0 0.5 on this radio. Great. 41, uh, TX save. Turns the transmit, biz, uh, transmit battery saver on or off. 42, VFO. Turns the VFO split operation on or off. You got 43, Vox. Turns the Vox function on or off. That's a great feature on an entry-level HT. That's what you expect from Yesu. 44, World Receiver. Broadcast FM radio, WFM function enables and disables. You want to listen to Broadcast FM. Great feature. 45, Wide Narrow Deviation. Sets the transmit modulation level in the FM mode. 46, Weather uh, alert. Turns the weather alert scan on or off. That's a good one. Weather alert. And we're back to number one. So 46 menu functions on an entry level HT. So far, like I said, this is a great uh, entry level HT for the new ham or for the ham that wants to have a radio that you want to just throw in the bag. AKA the Baofeng Killer. So there you have it. The Yesu FT4X menu and feature review. Um, those uh, more obscure ones, if you're, uh, if you're familiar with them, comment below. Or if you have this radio, comment below and tell me what you think of it. Uh, uh, they're retailing for around uh, $80 right now, U.S. So comment below, like and subscribe for future videos of Ham Radio on the Go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hey, don't forget, check the description for additional content on this video. 7-3, everyone, and thanks for watching.